120-130 foot grain leg or grain silo. I just put in this uh, electrical box here uh, for wireless internet service. Uh, basically in there it's just power and power adapters and uh, a switch or a router. This one's just going to be a basic switch. Um, I got up here a uh, ubiquity uh, 5 gigahertz grid dish antenna. Uh, it doesn't have the feed horn in it yet but uh, it's still down on the bottom once it's done being wired. And then up here is going to be a 2.4 gigahertz Omni. I'll also be putting up a 5 gigahertz Omni up here uh, later on once that comes in stock. And uh, this is why I like these grain legs. Uh, they got a floor up here. There's the ladder that comes up, and this one has a side step on it. it every 20 or 30 feet, it shifts to the left and right, and you got to shift over. So, uh, and it's got a cage for fall protection. Even though I'm always, always harnessed in 100%. Um, the ladder comes up, and then you got this nice, uh, nice floor to walk on. Um, this is actually a door here. It's a trap door that that hinges up. Uh, if I can get it with my foot. It hinges up so you can come up and down and then you can stand on it and uh, you basically just walk around up on these things. It's uh, here. It's pretty nice. Uh, so plenty of room to uh, kind of move around up here, uh, set a bag down and keep all your tools up. Uh, bolt everything right to the, the bars here. Um, so these, these come in really handy instead of uh, they're going to be on an actual tower. standing on them. Uh, this particular one also has a uh, RTK system. Right up there it's a uh, UHF GPS RTK system. Um, goes into a connector there. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know, probably like 9913 or something and then goes into some it's a pretty thick hard line down here. I'm not sure what it is. It's, uh, it's over much thick. But there's my thumb as an example. So it's some pretty thick hard line. It runs all the way down. I think they're only uh, two or three watts, maybe four watts on the transmitter down at the base, uh, which is unfortunately locked in the cabinet, so I can't take any any pictures of it. Uh, this particular site also has a antenna tower here. It's about 100 foot tall. They used to be used for the two-way radio system. Um, I'm possibly going to take that down, uh, depending on the cost, if it's even worth it to, to hire a crane since it's all in uh, large sections. You can't do it with a gin pole. Um, and up on top is... It looks from here like it's a 800 megahertz antenna, uh, a folded dipole array. It could be a VHF, or not VHF, UHF uh, 450, but I'm not sure. Um, but maybe it still works even. That's got some pretty thick hard line on it also. And then, uh, let's come back over here. Oh, the other way with my harness, so I'm not single. Over here, I kind of wish I had that sight there. Uh, that one actually has stairs that goes all the way up on it. and. So you spiral around on a staircase. It's kind of nice, but I talked to that owner, and he said he was going to get back to me. And before he even had a chance to get back to me, this tower owner uh, called me up and said, "Hey, go ahead and throw some equipment up on here and uh, get this one going." So even though that one's just right across the street, uh, it's still been kind of nice not to have to climb a ladder. Stairs are a little more convenient, but still always have to hook in 100% of the time, and it's a lot to to hook and unhook. And even climbing stairs is kind of takes a little bit out of you. It's a uh, it's a little bit longer of a climb, uh, actually, because you're wrapping all the way around it. But it's not too bad. So Next, uh, I get to climb down and uh, grab my antennas and feed horns and pop it on here. The feed horn goes right in here and put 2.4 gigahertz Omni up there. Run the, uh, the cables down and across to, into the box there for the power over Ethernet injectors and program it all up and get this thing going on the air uh, for wireless internet service today. 73, this is KCHGRQ.